Okay. Hello there, uh, Philo Vandreal and Fidal. Mm, hey dude, how are you? How do you like the PTR so far? It's fun! Okay, he has to play first. Game changed a lot. And players are having uh, trouble figuring out if it's their turn. And when they play the card, they're just gonna wait. <laughs> because they don't know they're supposed to press. Ah. And turn. Ah. Ah. So he boosted all units in his hand right away. That's how he started. Getting good decks in MTG Arena is tedious, feels way harder than Hearthstone, seems most people already got solid decks. Well, I, when I started it, well I started the, well I, I played the closed beta, it was, I, I got completely stomped, and I played the, well I played the open beta, can't say I progressed very far, but, We can just play this. And, uh... Well, what can I say? I, I tried to build a blue deck. And uh, I, I even crafted, I used up all the cards I could craft, and... I'm at bronze rank right now. Massively held back by my cards. I've once played a competitive mode. And that guy, I mean, I've never seen anything more pay to win in my life. <clears throat> that guy was running like uh, mythic cards, so many of them. I got so destroyed, like I had zero chance to win that game. Like that was disgusting. I once played the draft mode, uh, that, that could have been better. I got a little unlucky with the draft. and. Keep that in mind that I played Eternal, and I got the top 100 in Eternal, so... I'm not saying that's an achievement in any way, but... I, I do know these type of games. And, uh... And I didn't play Eternal that much either. I, I could just I could just make a deck in Eternal, so... That, that felt a little bit better. It's the Craft Spear. It's a little bit better because <coughs> when you play these items, they are... You can use them right away. So that makes them one turn faster than the units. Yeah, decks contained, 50% rare and mythic cards. Like, even one would be like completely uh, crazy, but you can actually go with four of them and that's usually the approach. Uh, they go for. I'm not even sure how long it would take me to get the same level of deck that guy got. I don't get it. Like, he had like 8 mythics in that deck. At least. At least 8 mythics. He was playing a heavy control deck uh, with mythics. Hi Adam, I see you have moved. <laughs> now streaming your closet anymore? <laughs> I'm literally streaming my closet now. Reach is a pretty good combo with these. I'm not gonna pass. Ah. Okay. 
Maybe we can get some Kedvin the Revenant value. This Mastercraft the Spear seems like a good combo with that. Moo! <laughs> yeah, price being cow is not so bad. I mean, we, could, we could have actually used King Foltest to, make, to guarantee the cow. But, nah. That's why we love Gwente. I'm not saying Magic is a bad game, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, if you can literally cannot play the game, then it's not a good game. I suppose I can say it's uh, prohibitively uh, expensive or slow with fire cards. Why is that? <laughs> No boosts. Okay, let's go with cow. I don't know if I want to play the Kedvin Revenant here. <laughs> Just the naked one. King of Beggars. I need to watch how many value generators I have. Obviously, we're not gonna play Shehill now. The semblance of power. <laughs> <laughs> Card games are over expensive. For what you get, but not Gwent. I agree. And a lot of games are just forced to be legit at this point. For example, people might complain about Fortnite. I'm not really sure what. Mainly because <laughs> mainly because it's popular. But it's a really good game. And it's just cosmetic based. And that previous game uh, was like more more on the line of... Like that was Paragon. And they also have uh, like a PvE version of Fortnite, but even that is not as popular. Like that, that is like nothing compared to the. Ryan! Uh, the Battle Royale Fortnite. Cow. I can, I can do something in the back. So. Should I do that? If I use Regis, it's gonna be 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3. Regis, good value. I like this card. Especially if you can just ping and set it up. Did he say something? Shut the fuck up. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, yeah. The speaker icon that I can hear him talk. Still weird, uh, MTG players defend it so much. Well, you have to understand that a lot of them simply come from the physical... Well, they used to play Magic and buy Magic cards. Or maybe some of them come Hell from other wow. Magic games, but... They don't necessarily come from... Uh, like, other free-to-play games. I don't know. When it comes to card games... Players are willing to uh, give them a. Allow them a lot. Maybe too much. I 
Only one damage. I can boost in Siri, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Come on, zip it. I don't know what to do. Thing is, we won't be able to use the spear next turn. You talked enough. I'll just say that. <clears throat> I think it's gotta be a tie. If he plays a card here, I feel completely good about just not playing anything. But there's a good chance that I'm gonna play one of the revenants. Chile is not gonna be good in the long round. But I, at the same time, I wanna save it for the last round. Hey Adam, nice to see you again. How do you enjoy homecoming so far? It's fun. It's confusing a little bit. Whoa! No! Siri's dead! <clears throat> Am I supposed to give up now? Okay, let's calculate. So we go with this... I, I don't even understand you. So we go with this sticky spear. And uh, this is like... 8 points plus 9... Then we can take it to the Cadman Revenant. So this is 9 points plus 4. We might play the. Yeah, sure. Let's play the non boosted one before. And. Uh no. no! No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you gotta keep in mind that if you play abilities, then you have to play cards as well. So you cannot interact with your board and just say like, Oh, I'm good. I just ping, ping once and I don't have to play a card now. No, if you just touch your board, uh, you also have, you're also committed to playing a card. Uh, that... That elf and onion soup looks delicious for first look. Oh yeah. Uh, I saw Bran. He cooked it once. He used up two guys and he managed to cook a soup with only one of those guys. Well, he, he managed to have only one guy at the end of it. I don't know how it worked. Same guy. Two of the same guys. And only one left. <laughs> well, I couldn't think of a proper joke. Oh, I think we have to give up. Because... But I did see a brand user. It made no sense. <laughs> So we can hit that, but at this point, I should just give up. Yes. Leading by a lot. Ah. Ah. yourself by the number of dwarfs on your other ally draw. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep this. I'm, and I really hope he's not gonna push me. That's the plan. What do you guys think about Homecoming? I think the name is a little bit misleading. It definitely doesn't feel like a Homecoming. But it does feel like a good game. Be the first. 
go away. A banner. It's definitely different and new, so it's fun now. I don't know how long it'll last. We'll see. As I, I said before, before Homecoming came out and when we were, they were planning it, that I'm not really doubting whether they can make good games, but can they really keep up uh, with the content? That's the most important part. Wait, I see it. Oh. Okay. Decent. That's better than the spear. Huh? So I just saved all the bulligans for last round and all my abilities as well. He had the best chance to win this. Well, it doesn't help me. I, I shouldn't uh, equip my weapon now. Let's go with the Arbalest. Then equip the Shihio. Just when I was thinking they can't dumb down the game more after midwinter, CDPR delivered once more. The archetypes are gutted. You're playing a deck with 15 golds and 10 bronzes. <laughs> well, that's not completely uh, unfair to say. I have to say the archetypes are lacking cards. When I when I initially tried out, like I definitely had like okay, this is oh I mind that I, I managed to forget about uh, ending the turn. What? You know what? It kind of feels more like Hearthstone, but I think uh, a lot of these changes are justified. Uh, the supply system. Uh, it's gonna give uh, them uh, a way to fine-tune cards. Every turn on turn end, if there are no allied units on the battlefield, boost self by three. No allied units on the battlefield? But that's gotta die. Oh, actually I should have not hit that. Uh, that's a toss-up. We can take out with Selkirk or Gaunter. No, 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 no. Just take it out. And turn. <coughs> this is good. We might be able to make Shihil good. I like Homecoming, but I'm more excited for Thronebreaker. When it's released. When... They ruined the archetypes. Um, well, you can definitely say that. So this is a soldier. Okay, let's just equip Shihil. I'm just gonna hit with Shihil. Shihil definitely needs to hit. And we might as well hit. I don't know if he's gonna buff the dwarf. Okay, let's do that. <coughs> I should play Yankon. We need to establish her. We'll put Mahakam boots to Imperial Arses. Okay. So Yankong gets played in the back. You crossed the wrong sources. I also will make her act right away. No more than that. We hit. She heal. Hits. And the weapon damage goes up to two. Uh, we're gonna save the Arbalest. This is very strategic. I like it. No more red with the armor. Uh, because they are definitely archetypes still, but... And I might even have to say that I kind of like 
what they're going for is that previously many of the archetypes felt very restrictive when you played spies you played exactly the same bronzes every time when you played whatever you played the same cards every archetype was the same very limited but now we can say that we don't have enough cards and that's definitely fair to say but it's also true that you you gotta mix it in a little bit more because you can only have two uh, bronzes No! Not that! Hit that! Ha! I need to hurry up. Ah. Oh, look at that. Three point dude. But we can actually just chain this together. And King Foltus can get some uh, value out of that. She heal is now damage free. Ad anyway, I'm, I was uh, distracted. I, I just... Maybe we're gonna have more cards, but... I really hope we're not gonna lose the fact that maybe the archetypes have more freedom. And I, I like that. I'm not sure if this it is true now. I can't really comment on that. But I felt less like, oh, I'm gonna put in like exactly those cards because there's nothing else I can put in. Red of it is not even in the game currently. <laughs> Yeah. So, red of the armor, not a thing. Oh, I'm just gonna go on to redeem the big dwarf. I, I, I want to kill them. Okay, I'm gonna she heal. This kills that. Then Gaunter you wish to play. marks the dwarf. So let us play. Then be Yang Khan. That's it. <coughs> this is pretty good. <coughs> this got rolling. That's what I'm uh, also thinking. Archetype decks feel like they build themselves. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like, I can't comment on that. I can't comment not on the current state of Gwent. That, oh, they really fixed it. Now. Archetypes are no longer a thing, or like, or like you have more freedom to build your archetypes. Can't comment on it. So, I think they definitely need to add more cards. But even when they add more cards, I really hope it's not gonna be like, oh yeah, that those are exactly the cards I put in every time. For example, when I built a Vault Hunt deck earlier. I didn't even have enough cards to build a purely wild hunt deck. Then I just realized, oh, if I don't build that, maybe I should just fix in something else. And overall, it, it turned out to be a pretty fun deck to play. Mira Kespar, enter. And I wasn't too mad that it, it couldn't be like only wild hunt. Uh, oh yeah. Looking to dance, mate. Ah. Order. <laughs> and the dragon will not trigger. Well what does Aquis do? It damages all enemies. Uh, which is not gonna help us too much here. Destroy a unit with power less than equal to the number of allied dwarfs. <laughs> We gotta deal four damage. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, Oakfist. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Pretty one sided game. What the? That's so poison. I just clicked the same guy with Fortis twice. I did that too. <laughs> wow, this was uh, interesting. GG. This is more like what I was aiming for with the deck. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this was fun. I have to say, I'm not sure how good this is, but this was definitely fun. Alright, I'm just gonna keep all the cards I get. Every time. I'm saving the redraws usually for round 3. Only one guy punished me for this. And even he, even he barely managed to punish me for this. You can punish uh, the other player for this by just going completely crazy round 1 and 2. But keep in mind, it's hard because if you might the opponent might have a card advantage which is usually the case because you won round one with a card advantage i mean uh, you won round one a card down everyone got back three cards but if more than three cards were played then you cost you you spent one more card it's kind of hard to do uh i kind of like the spear here and just Start working on him. Enter. Anyway. Hmm. Rigi seems like a good card. Yeah, he is. Hmm. I don't know <laughs> what's an ambush card. <laughs> yeah. Maybe play this first. Looking to dance, mate? Oh, really? Okay. So, it either deals 5. That's actually not too bad, because a lot of these units get their strength from their abilities. So, he basically denied this guy uh, 7 points. Incinerating trap? Not too bad. Of course, it would have sucked if I uh, pass. But I'm kind of forced to play. Is the same thing gonna happen now? I only have guys that have reach of one. Not a not the most flexible strategy. Well, I shouldn't play that. Alert to arms! Well, it's a different trap now. Got the hit. <clears throat> it's like the fall with a two-point body. Yep. But it only affects enemies. And only on certain row. This guy likes traps. <clears throat> Maybe I should play Siri. Shield and save me some time. Wait. When an ally trap is triggered, who's up by two? This looks like a fun archetype. <clears throat> Just spam traps with a scout. Okay, usually this ha! Wait, what? Did he hear a power? Oh no, damage a unit by one. Refresh this units. Charge on round start. Why is he not hitting me? He has so many charges. He has eight now. He can just like hit my guy all the time. No! I mean, I'm not. I mean, don't do that. Obviously, that's a bad idea. A wee hint. Don't jiggle this. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> yep. 
Yeah, I probably should just give this up. Pass. Hmm. I asked for it. <laughs> I did. Ah. Ah. I need a zoom function. Are you guys with me? We need a way to see these leaders up close. The white of an eye from Fuck Gale! <laughs> Damage an enemy by one. Reduce this unit's cooldown by one whenever an ally trap is played. Okay. So I suspect that prize winning cow is probably not gonna win any prizes. Uh this game. The reason why Aetne is not terrible, because she can use the charges at the same time. So she can use it to eliminate the guy right away. Like, she could consider killing that dude. She clearly won't. So many traps! Would you stop that? Best she heal? I don't know. <clears throat> Plan to rush in the prize winning cow. Oof, carefully. <laughs> Who's the light by one if there is an allied artifact? Who's the light by three instead? So he doesn't have an artifact, which is good. Also, come on! How am I supposed to play a guy here? What you looking at? Destroy the next unit played on your opponent's side. Well, that would have killed anything. What? What's, what's up with this? Damage an enemy by one for every trap in your graveyard. Come on! <laughs> Give me a break. Do I wanna... The thing is, this guy and she heal uh, get stronger by the same thing. Ha! You just have to do this. No, no more. What a chort. <clears throat> as he's just dead. Now you wish Ko <laughs> counts that wish? No, I would have no way to trigger it. But yeah, you're right. Like, he would not kill that one point dude. <laughs> what is this? Traps. I can kill that. Um. Actually, do I want a strong shield here, or do I want a Regis?
You gotta play something. Those traps at all. I need to check out these cards. Like, the, at least I I can read the card that he plays. Wait, what? Crushing trap? I need to actually play on multiple rows now. Wow, the dragon died. Big surprise. Peace with humans. I buy the Move an hmm. enemy unit via the row. Okay. I think right now we just have to assume that. Well. I just have to play everything. There'll be nothing to There's no more screwing around here. You. Okay. Shield is gonna go three, four. So we should be able to win this round. It's gonna be hard. But we win this round, not sure how we win the next one. One trap deals five damage to a unit played, another one is just counters a spell. <laughs> Good luck with that. You don't know the other one, top of your head? Crap. Does any of them automatically flip? Good question, guys. Does any of them automatically flip? Tell me. I need to know. We need that information right now. Oh yeah. Okay, we are playing. That flips some fast. How strong is it? Gives him 8 points? Holy fuck. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, that should cover it. No, we're not gonna do that. Are those like 8 points each? The bamboozle deck is back. Especially if I don't know about traps. I think I'm just gonna let this go. <laughs> okay. Only one. It's a gold trap. One of them. <clears throat> okay, fine. We don't have a way to rush out Selkirk. I think this is gonna suck, but this is probably gonna suck more. Uh, yeah. That's not too bad. Okay, I have to start. Might as well go with King of Beggars. <clears throat> Might be not the best card, but he has 8 cost and you gets 5 points right up. away. Hmm. Not too bad. And one charge. Oh, I actually need to be very careful with the uh, order units. One of them has to be last, and I don't use their ability. I think it's gotta be Lyrian Arbalest. But it's gonna get so strong. <laughs> Never mind. It gives adjacent uh, plus four. 
I just tested Stragobor. He also works if your opponent already passed. <gasps> I destroyed my spear. No, stop that. <clears throat> Not much choice here. Problem is, that's also gonna discourage him from playing any targets. Or Gaunter. Doesn't have range, right? But we're gonna make something doomed. Yeah, that's definitely better than the Arbalest. Watching the woods grow. Also, he can destroy anything doomed. So we might be able to destroy Morgwark, for example. That's kinda good. End turn. Look what the werecat dragged in. Destroy an allied artifact and damage an enemy by four. How much choice here? This looks good. Come on. Gotta be one hell of a last card. Last card, show me. Damn it. GG. That was fun. Trap deck? Uh, wow. <laughs> Looks fun as hell. GG. We might make that next. Or I don't know. Let's see.